Hey folks, uh, let's take a look into our sidebar options. Now, as you've probably noticed, uh, with the following theme, we have a lot of uh, blocks of content that all that are already pre-built, and all you really need to do is add in images and text. And the same process would apply uh, whenever you are customizing your sidebars. We have our first block of content, which is basically a short about area. Then we have um, social media links, featured blog posts or galleries, and then a subscribe email. Now, if we head on over to the back end, uh, this is what everything looks like. We have uh, these four uh, custom uh, lovely widgets created and once you unfold the settings we have a screenshot of what that widget looks like and then here you can adjust the elements color or the text color then you can change your image and then uh, make adjustments to your text titles and so forth add in links and stuff like that so it's all pretty simple straightforward and self-explanatory the same process would apply to let's say your featured items uh, which can be blog posts or galleries uh, you add in your titles here, adjust the fonts, adjust the text color, and then within this area, you simply click once and you get to choose which blog post or which gallery you want to display within that sidebar. Okay, so once all of that is taken care of, you simply add a selected sidebar to a specific page. So if we take a look at blog uh, number two with the left sidebar, which is actually the page we're viewing right now, uh, what we have here is the main sidebar selected within our widgets area. So technically what you can do is also create a new uh, custom sidebar. So if you want to have two different sidebars for let's say your about page and your blog page or your contact page, whatever it may be, you can simply uh, create a new sidebar and uh, that's done by going over to the flow theme area. So you click on sidebars and we actually have a small written tutorial within the following section with screenshots as you can see here on how to create a new sidebar though um, let me just show you a quick demonstration of, of how that's done so you click on add sidebar you add in your uh, title here and then you click on update okay so as soon as you create the sidebar uh, it will be added within the widgets area so let me refresh my page and you will see that my title sidebar has been created in the following section. You then go ahead and drag and drop all of these widgets into the sidebar that you want to use. So we'll add in social links and you can actually use the same widget multiple times. So you can have LVY image link uh, several times within uh, within this specific sidebar. Then you unfold the settings, add all of your content, and once all of that is taken care of, you essentially head on over to the page that you are creating. So if we just go on over to create a new page, uh, we have the option within the right hand column over here to select a certain sidebar or to assign a sidebar to the page that we are customizing. So in this area, now, first of all, we get to choose whether uh, it will be a uh, right or left hand sidebar. So you select uh, the area where the sidebar will be located and then you get to choose the sidebar that you want to work with. So you then select the title sidebar or any, any other for that matter and then simply go ahead and publish. So um, using sidebars overall is very simple. Uh, as mentioned earlier, you can create multiple sidebars, have different sidebars for each page and also the uh, default lovely sidebars, they, all, they are already pre-built and uh, all you need to do is add in your content. Uh, you can also use uh, third-party widgets uh, to add to your sidebars if that would be required. Uh, but in terms of the default features uh, for the lovely sidebars, uh, this is pretty much it. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you around later.